What's going on guys, it's Barry from the EMR Academy. Today we're talking daily checks on our diesel UTV. You wanna do these checks prior to any trail riding. First thing, you wanna make sure you park your machine on a flat level surface and you do have enough fuel to make it through the day. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the first check we wanna do is we wanna check our engine oil. Before we check it, we want to make sure that the engine oil is up to operating temperature. Come back here to the bed, grab this handle, go ahead and lift the bed up. Go ahead and reach underneath, take your rag, wipe around the dipstick so you don't transfer any dirt into the dipstick. Tube, go ahead and pull the dipstick out. Take your rag, wipe it off. Go ahead and reinsert it, pull it back out. And then what you want to do is make sure that it is between the top and the bottom line. This one's good to go, let's move on. All right, next check we're gonna do is we're gonna check our air filter. Up underneath the bed, you wanna take these two little silver tabs, pop them open, grab my air filter cover, go ahead and just twist it off a little bit and tug on it, it'll come off. Grab our air filter, go ahead and pull it out. Up underneath the frame. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure there's no damage to the air filter. There is not big debris caught on it and there's no holes in it. This one seems good. All right, so to reinstall it, once again, just slide it up underneath the frame, put it inside your air box and housing. Make sure it's nice and snug. Take your cap, put it back on. And re-snap it, make sure it's good and we're good to go. All right, so next thing we want to do is we want to check around the engine for any oil leaks or fuel leaks. If you do find a fuel leak, make sure you get your machine to uh, your closest Yamar dealer to get it fixed. Pay special attention right here around the fuel injection lines. Any of the oil lines up on top. Put it down the sides. And do the same check on both sides of the engine. Move on up front and we'll check the coolant and the brake fluid. All right, so to open the hood, we can see this little silver button here. Go ahead and push it in. Hood comes up, go ahead and lay it back. All right, so once we're underneath the hood, there's two access panels. The first one we wanna check is here on the left. Go ahead and pull the three hold down bolts out and you will find the reservoir for the engine coolant. What we're looking for is there's two lines down here. There's a low line and a high line. You wanna make sure it's right up to the top of that high line. If it's low, you just remove this cap here, add some coolant, top it off, screw the cap back on. Warning, always stop the engine and allow the radiator to cool before removing the cap. Failure to comply could result in death or serious injury. All right, so before we move on to the next check, we need to go ahead and put the cover back on. Go ahead and slap it back in place. Take the hold down bolts and go ahead and screw them into place. Now that it's in place, we'll go ahead and move over to this right one, which holds our master cylinder. We'll go ahead and take the cover off, remove the panel, and our master cylinder sits down here. Once you get access to the master cylinder, what you want to do is look on the side of the master cylinder itself. There's a minimum and maximum line. You want to make sure that your fluid is between the minimum and the maximum. If it's below the minimum, then what you want to do is remove this cap and go ahead and fill brake fluid in it. All right, now we've checked our master cylinder with our brake fluid in it. Go ahead and grab our cover, throw it back on, put our four hold down bolts back in. And move on to the next check. Warning, if the brake fluid level is under or over the limits shown on the tank, fill up the brake fluid and make sure there are no leaks. If in doubt, go immediately to your Yanmar dealer. They know what to do in each case. This can affect your safety. All right, now that we're done underneath the hood, let's go ahead and close it up. And we're gonna move on to our brakes. All right, so first thing what we wanna do is we wanna check our disc here. What we're doing is we're gonna make sure that there's no deep gouges or scratches in it or any visible damage to it. Then you wanna check your, check your brake pads here and you wanna make sure that they have at least 1.5 millimeter of thickness left to them. Make sure that you do the exact same checks on the other three tires. All right, so now what we wanna do is we're gonna check the pressure in our tires. Go ahead and remove the cap off your valve stem. Grab your air gauge. And what we're looking for in an empty machine like this one is 14 and a half pounds in each tire. This one's good. If the machine is full and you're carrying a load in the back, then you wanna make sure you bump that air pressure up to 21.7 PSI. All right, now we've checked this tire. Make sure you check the other three tires in the exact same way. 
We're gonna move on to the next check, which is just a basic vehicle walk around. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look for anything that may be loose or hanging from the machine or anything that could fall off while we're operating the machine. Make sure you do this on both sides. For this video, we're just gonna do the one side. All right, now what we wanna do is check our seat belts. We wanna check our webbing first, make sure there's no tears in it. Check to make sure the, the latch works. Make sure it unlatches. Then what we wanna do is check to make sure the retention system works itself. So pull it out a little bit and then give it a good tug. Make sure it locks out. All right, so make sure you do the other seat belt the exact same way and we'll move on. All right, so moving on, next thing we're gonna do is do all of our checks inside of the cab. So let's go ahead and crawl in. First thing we wanna do is check our brake pedal. We're gonna check for sponginess, make sure it does return to the top when you depress it. Then we're gonna move on over to our accelerator pedal. Same thing, push it down, release it, make sure it springs back up. That one's good. Make sure our transmission won't shift in the gear. We're good. All right, go ahead and turn your power on. Check your panel, make sure your seat belt lights come on. Click your differential lock, make sure the light comes on. Transfer lock, make sure the light comes on. Shut them off, make sure the lights go off. Turn your left signal, make sure it comes on. Your right turn signal, make sure it comes on. High beam, make sure it comes on. And then your horn. There you have it guys, quick, simple, easy checks, but checks that are very important if you want to keep your diesel UTV on the trail for years to come. Until next time, I'll see you at the Yamar Academy.